Thank you, Pastor. Uh, yeah, that's us um, coming back. Uh, the reason for me uh, uh, to look into this parable concerning the facts that we live in this world uh, is very different than uh, it was before, like 50 years before. There is a lot of oppressions happening, a lot of sicknesses happening, a lot of war happening. We listen to a lot of, lot of things like that. But still, uh, things are drastically changing. And uh, uh, when I was reading this parable, uh, the, the, some of the things I, I thought like uh, that would encourage the church, the reply, uh, the, the, uh, the, the questions that was asked from, uh, from to the virgin, uh, 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 ten virgins, and the reply that was coming out, uh, something which we can consider and uh, we can carry on in our Christian life. Uh, when we read this parable from 1 to 13, it says, uh, uh, in 7, uh, verse 7, Then all the virgins woke up, uh, trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Uh, our oils are going out. Uh, that was one of the things that, that was like, like, like they, they all had lamps, they all had oils. Then where does the oil went? Where is the oil? And what is the oil? That's something they could not get. I was thinking, what is the oil that they could not get? And why is Jesus saying, where is the uh, I need the lamp to be brightened up. Uh, and when I was reading through that, I could... Uh, get some of the things. Number nine, it says that, uh, no, they replied, there, uh, there may not be enough for both of us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil, but some for yourself. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later others also came, Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly I tell you, I do not know you. Two times in the same Matthew, Jesus said the same thing. He was teaching, uh, one on the Mount of Olives, on, after he was teaching, he, was, he said the same thing, I do not know you. I was thinking, why Jesus is saying like, he is teaching the same thing, and disciples are listening. And all, uh, there are multitude of people out there. And, and very categoric, categorically he says, I do not know you. It's a naive thing to say to the, to the gathering of the people. And at that time, there is something more going on beyond what he was saying. Out of, out of all the commandments, he didn't say, uh, uh, like, you have to... Uh, consecrate or you have to be this and that you have to do but he very categorically says that the light should not go out so what is the light and how uh, we should uh, contain this light so that that light he says if it is burning in the darkest if the pitch dark place if the light is burning slightest of the light is burning there won't be darkness so that's the reason he says that the light should be always be burning. And what is the light? When I was reading through the Proverbs, uh, it says in the Bible itself, uh, it says in Proverbs uh, 6.23, it says, For his commandment is a lamp. The commandment of God he has given, that is the lamp. And the teaching is a light. If we don't have the teaching in us, in this provo provoked world, this is a wicked world, that light will dim away. That's why it says, his teaching is a light, and the correction of the instructions are the way of life. So if we take this life, if we take his teachings in our life, in our day-to-day -day Christian life, I'm pretty sure that will lead us, our day-to-day -day activities, in a much brighter way, in a much difficult circumstances, even if whatever we are going through, this light that we have, it will sustain us. And and uh, if if we, we we need to go to the salvation, we do, if we are going to the end of the times, then we have to 
get hold of this light so that no matter how good we are shining the lamp no matter how good we have the thread inside the lamp but if the light is not shining bright enough if we don't have the instruction within us then i say we cannot burn this light because if we don't have this teaching in us no the holy spirit that is there inside the lamp that will also not burn that will also go away so the the the, the in proverbs it says 622 623 for the command is a lamp the commandments the teaching is there that's that's the lamp and the teaching is a light and the corrections and instructions are the way of life may god bless you with this word